What's going on Legit Nation? Welcome back to another video where the legitness never stops. If it is your first video, I'm sorry that this is your first video, but it's gonna be a little bit more of a story time video. Um, I'm not sure if, you know, a mistake was made or what's going on, but this video is particularly directed to Champ Sports. So, <sighs> Champ Sports, nothing against you. I really hope that if somebody from the marketing department or something from the social media team sees this, I really hope that uh, you guys will reach out to me because I don't know what's going on. And I'm sorry if I've made a mistake in any way. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and tell you this story time anyways because... I feel like it's a pretty interesting story and I feel like you guys would enjoy it and it's a little bit confusing um, so I don't think that any of this information is like private or whatever if Champ Sports sees this and you want me to take this down let me know but I decided that I'm going to share this with you guys because we're a family um, so starting off you guys know about YouTubers and how YouTubers do like brand deals and sometimes they get free products and the bigger and bigger that a YouTuber will get usually bigger and bigger brands start working with them. So in the past, guys, I've worked with brands like Dope. Um, <laughs> Dope is like my biggest one and I really like them. But I've worked with, you know, Snubs. I've worked with Edubirdy. I've worked with, you know, I can't, I'm not gonna say anymore because then it's gonna give them free publicity, but I got some other stuff coming with different sneaker apps. I'm just gonna say that. But, um, so I've worked with different companies in the past, right? And usually the company will send a YouTuber compensation, which is money for doing a video for them as well as free product, right? But a couple months back, I'm not sure if they're still doing this, but Champ Sports was sending YouTubers all kinds of crazy stuff. So they were sending a lot of the big sneaker YouTubers like really big packages with other stuff in them like sneakers and they were pretty much getting every single release so they made free content about it. Now. Being into the fashion sneaker line, you know, it's kind of hard, especially back in the day when I wasn't making as much money. It was hard to make content for you guys every single day and every single week, let alone by spending money on shoes or spending money on new clothes. So I was trying to find ways to make that cheaper, right? So I know that for sure when this happened, I was above 100K. Um, and so Champs was working with all the other sneaker YouTubers. Now, I don't consider myself a big sneaker youtuber or I didn't consider myself a big sneaker youtuber I don't even consider myself a sneaker youtuber because the thing about me is that you know I try to mix up my stuff with comedy I try to mix up my stuff with steals I try to be as entertaining and as interesting as I can possibly be without making it really boring because no offense to anyone who does sneaker reviews or anything like that but in my opinion, they're kind of boring. And I'm not taking shots at anyone because I know everybody pretty much does their own thing, they have their own genre, they stay in their own lane, and I'm not gonna hate on anybody who is making money differently than I am, but personally, I feel that if I were to make sneaker reviews or you know review the sneakers and talk about the materials and talk about the release dates and talk about the colors, I feel like my viewers would get really, really bored with that. So I don't do all the other stuff that a bunch of the sneaker YouTubers are doing, therefore I don't consider myself a sneaker YouTuber or a YouTuber, I just want to be a YouTuber, you know, um, because I know the thing about working with companies as well that you guys have to know and I have to put into context is when working with companies, they tend to favor more of the serious people better. So in term, like by that, I mean, when I pull pranks, you know, on my wife or whatever, or she pulls a prank on me, or say I do like a video, a social experiment in the store, a brand sees that and they're like, I don't know if I want to work with that person because I don't want them to make my brand look bad. And when they see somebody that is doing reviews, when they see somebody that is real professional with it, when they see somebody that puts links and puts all this information in their videos, they really wanna work with them because they know that they can trust them to bring good content through and that if anybody looks at their brand and then looks at their YouTube channel, they think, oh, this is professionally done, this is you know good content and it's clean content. And the problem that I have that way I'm different is that I like to make it more fun. I like to make it more entertaining and not all the time do brands like that. Brands want to work with people that are serious, that are, you know, state the facts and stuff. And I don't want to be like that, you know, and the reason why I don't want to be like that is because I, I feel like, you know, if you're going to be serious and stuff, if you're going to be serious, 
people don't tend to watch that as much and people it won't tend to go viral as much as being entertaining well versus if you're doing a prank a public experiment that stuff can go viral people love that stuff people watch that for entertainment people want to watch that all the time versus when people are just looking up a shoe to buy they want to know the facts they want to know how it feels that's the only time that somebody will watch that so Anyways, moving on, I know I've already talked to you. I've, I've pretty much already laid a base for it. Now I want to tell you guys what actually happened. So, 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 one day Champ Sports was tweeting about, what was it about? <laughs> it was that thing in Austin, I forgot the name right off the top of my head. It was the, it was the South by Southwest Festival and Basically, if you guys don't know about South by Southwest, it's taking place in Austin every single year. I'm in San Antonio. I live about an hour and a half away from Austin. And it's this event where a bunch of companies come together. They have the film part. They have the music part. So I guess Champ Sports was going to be there. I don't know what they were going to be doing there. But they tweeted out who is going to be at South by Southwest. And I just replied to them, I am. Like, I'm going to be there. And the thing is, like, I didn't have very many followers at the time. And on Twitter... I still don't have very many followers. Go hit your boy with the follow down below at the active Tim. <laughs> but so they followed me and I got a notification saying that Champ Sports followed me. And when I saw that, I was like, whoa, son, Champ Sports just followed me? Like me? Like I don't even have that many subscribers. I mean, not subscribers. Like I said, I had over 100K, but I didn't have that many followers on Twitter. So for them to follow me was crazy. And they liked my tweet. They retweeted my tweet. And I was like, yo, this is dope. So I decided, I was like, you know what? I want to message Champ Sports. I want to message Champ Sports. So what I did is I sent them a DM because once people follow you back, you can send them DMs. So I sent Champ Sports. They still follow me, actually. I don't even follow them anymore, but they still follow me, and they're only following 4,600 4, people. Check this out. I guess Champ Sports has been seeing all my drama and stuff because I tweet about drama. I'm just kidding. I don't tweet about drama, but I guess they've been seeing my tweets still. I didn't know they still followed me. Um, I guess I unfollowed them. Anyways... Basically, the conversation went like this. Hey champs, I am a sneaker YouTuber with over 135k subscribers. I would love to work with you guys on any upcoming sneaker releases. And then, they didn't reply back. So, this was in February 3rd, 2017, so about this time last year. Then on the 22nd, I was growing pretty fast, so in about 20 days, I sent another DM and I said 143k. And then once they followed me, okay, I got the story mixed up. I didn't DM them first, they DM'd me first. So once they followed me, they saw those DMs, so they replied back, What's up, man? Send me your full name, address, and shoe size. I'm going to send you some shoes in April. What do you like? I'm going to send you some shoes in April. What do you like? That is the dream DM that everybody wants to hear. I'm going to send you shoes in April. What do you like? Well, champs, I like Yeezys, I like Jordans, I like Retros, I like, you know, Adidas, I like Nikes, champs. So I can get basically whatever I want. If you can imagine my face when they sent me that DM, I was extremely happy. I was the happiest I've ever been. I called my mom, my dad, my grandma, my best friends, my, my best friends, best friends, my best friends, friends, friends. Like I, like I was super excited. And so I sent them everything, you know. And I said, you know, I sent them my address. I said, size 10 and a half. I said, I'm a big fan of retros. Check out my YouTube channel, blah, 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 blah. And then right after I said, is there a possible way we can possibly set up a phone call? I actually wanted to discuss some things with you guys. So I wanted to discuss, like, I forgot what I wanted to discuss, but I think I wanted to discuss, like, how it was going to work, how they're going to send me sneakers. Because when you're working with a professional company, usually they will email you, they'll send you contracts, they'll give you information. And for them to just say, I'm sending you shoes in April, what do you like? It was kind of weird. So I wanted to have a phone call with these people to make it more official. And um, April came. April ended. And I got no shoes. So I emailed them at the end and I said, hey, or I, I DM'd them at the end and I said, hey champs, I never received any packages from you this month. I was ready to film a video for you guys. And I didn't get a message back. So champs, I don't know if this was a mix up. I don't know if it was a mistake. I don't know if you saw my content and you didn't like me. But 
I still love you. So if you could, hit me back with the message. I was left unread, no reply. You are worse than any girl that I've ever talked to in my life, champs, because you were gonna send me shoes. And I never received any shoes. So hit me up, baby. We'll discuss it in the DMs.